guys, it's Ivana, and welcome to my channel. Now, today we'll be unboxing this pottery workshop. So let's begin. So first we are going to take out this pottery wheel. Looks super duper pretty and pink. Pink's my favorite color. Now this comes with some paint and some pink tools. Let's get this clay out. It's actually quite heavy, which I didn't expect. And that's all. And this needs batteries, which are not included. So I'm gonna get my parents' help to put in the batteries inside these. So I'll see you when I'm done with that. Okay, my parents put in the battery with me, and now we're gonna set things up. So this didn't come with instructions. That's why I'm making this video for you guys. So I'm going to take these things out. So the paint looks like it goes right here. Perfect. Now we have this tool where I'm not sure that goes. I think I'm just gonna keep that to the side. We are gonna put in these tools. I have no idea where these things go. So I'm just gonna put them right here. check the box okay turns out that this thing right over here will go right there oh like this now I understand and now these tools don't go anywhere they just lay there and then we have this tool which I have no clue at all what this does. Then we have two paint brushes, I'm guessing for two clay pots. And yeah, I've set up this. Okay, so I got my scissors, and if you're under seven, make sure you have an adult with you. And these are super sharp scissors, so don't use these sharp scissors like I am. Open these up. So we got one bag and two bag. These are really heavy, as I said. Okay, so I opened the packet of clay and this is what, what it looks like. It's super duper sticky, kind of feels like mud, but it is pottery clay. So I have to accept the fact that it is gonna be sticky. Let's put this on and see what we can do with it. Put the clay right here. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. And I'm dipping my hands in water to make the clay easier to mold. I'm trying to fix this to make some type of a bowl. And after I do this, I'm probably gonna turn it on. Let's turn it on. It's starting to look like a pot. So far, it looks like this, and it's actually a king. This is so fun. I love this. It's coming together so good. It's actually looking like the pot on the picture. You want to see it? Oh, 
OMG, this is amazing! It's been so much fun so far, I've come up with this shape. So you have to put your thumbs in the middle of this plate to get the right shape. I'm going to try and make a shape. So, so far I've come up with this and I'm probably going to let it dry for one day or two. And also, here's a tip. If you have long hair, make sure you tie it. You don't want clay in your hair. So I've come to this shape and it's looking super duper pretty and I love the shape that I did. And you have to let this dry for one to two days. And that's probably what I'm gonna do. Speaking of that, I'm hungry. While I wait, I'm gonna go eat some pasta. Before I get up, I'm gonna go wash my hands because at this time, it's very important to do that. So I decided that mine wasn't personalized enough. So I decided to add horror and some cute balls. I thought they would look so awesome and amazing. So I decided to do that for mine because I had some extra clay left. You can do the same if you have extra clay or you can just buy some more and put these personalized beautiful things on. So I magically teleported three days in the future with my finished pottery. And now I'm going to begin to paint this. But this comes with super boring colors and I literally don't want to paint it with these. I know what to do. Oh, wow, nothing a little magic can't do. Okay guys, so now that I've got these beautiful colors instead of boring colors, I'm gonna get my pottery. I made it super duper pretty and personalized. You guys can do the same thing. For example, if you wanna make a flower here, you can. But I wanted to do a heart because that's what I love. I love to, to be super duper cute and girly. And I also put a few little round circles here to make it extra personalized. Here, why don't you guys take a closer look? Isn't it so pretty? I love it. Okay, enough talk. Let's get painting. So I'm gonna get the paintbrush that this set came with, and I'm gonna choose my colors. I'm thinking maybe for some type of a glittery, type of a cute one. So I wanna start off with this cute little pink. Let me open that up. So I'm gonna dip my brush. This is acrylic paint, which I'm using. I'm gonna take that. And now I'm just gonna color my heart because I think it would look really cute, a pink heart. You can color with any color you guys like, but mine of course has to be pink because pink's like my favorite color in the whole entire world. This pink is the prettiest shade I've ever seen. It's so glittery and pretty and metallic. I love it so much. I'm almost done painting this pink heart. It's looking so pretty and I love it. The pink color again, it's so nice. It's probably my favorite. It's so metallic and awesome. Wait, did I already say that? Oopsie. Okay, looks like the heart's done. Now I'm gonna wash my brush and start doing another color. Hmm, I wish you guys were here to help me choose which one, they're all so pretty. I think I wanna choose teal. This one's so pretty, I love the color. I think I actually like this one more than the pink. Wow, these colors are so pretty, I love it. So I washed my brush and now I'm gonna get my beautiful teal paint. I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna paint this area of it. I'm gonna paint the main base pink. I think that's gonna be a great color for the theme I'm going for. My pottery is gonna be so elegant and beautiful.
Okay guys, so I'm finished and I wanna show you guys my finished product. So I need you guys to close your eyes. I'm waiting. Hey, no peeking! Okay, your eyes are closed. I'll show it to you in three, two, one. This is my finished product. It has purple dots, purple inside, um, pink on the outside, and this metallic pink. I was talking about how beautiful it was last time on the heart, and these purple as the dots, teal on this little line thingy, whatever you want to call it. And that is my pottery thing. I'm probably going to store my earrings in it, but you can store anything you like in your pottery creation. That's it for today, and make sure you let me know how you like my pottery creation in the comments. Subscribe and like this video. Bye, y'all. I'll see you next time.